Hey, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. All right, we the brothers here uh, from Great Millstone. Uh, I'm the brother Tazwam. I got the elder Rachas out with me here today uh, through the spirit. Uh, Lord willing that this, uh, this live stream is edifying, hopefully comforting and uplifting to the body of Yahweh Bashima uh, But before we get started, of course, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Also, we want to say double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, salutations, and much love to the elect of Israel scattered around the four corners of the earth has given our diligence to make the calling of election short. All right, shalom to you and your families. Okay, uh, like we say, coming back at you with another um, live stream uh, entitled, Let Patience Have Her per Perfect Work. Okay, now through the spirit of patience, that's one of the, uh, that's a very, very important characteristic that must be exercised within the body of the hour by Shema Shai. Okay, each and every member is gonna have to exercise the spirit of patience one way or another. All right, because ultimately the goal that we seek for is, is going to take time to achieve because Yahweh Bashim Shah has to take us through a process of purging. He has to take us through a process of long suffering and also just letting the prophecies develop, you know, and, 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 um, <clears throat> and come to pass. And during that process, you know, it's very important that we exercise the spirit of patience. OK, you can't rush fine wine like the saying goes, okay? The only way to get aged wine is to be patient and let it sit, okay? So that's the same thing in return that we have to do spiritually, okay? Right. Now, the, the Lord's patience is gonna try you in minuscule levels as well, whether it's trying to achieve a goal, do certain things uh, in the faith, um, coming up on a level takes time, if you want to come up on a level and start to, you know, understand the mysteries of the Lord and the Lord to start revealing you, to you deeper things, it takes patience. It takes effort and time to get to that. OK, so one thing about it and two things for sure, you will never be able to surpass men that's been having that spirit of patience before you because they've patiently waited and got to the level that they're at. And you have to do the same thing. So you have to let patience have a perfect work, okay? That's right. You can't rush the process because when you rush the process, the fruit of it is not always as uh, um, as potent as it potent. could be. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. The fruit of the of of whatever your work ethic is or whatever you're trying to accomplish, the fruit of it is not going to be um, savored as it would if you allowed that whole process to continue. Okay. So let right. patience have her perfect work. Just allow time to, to, to bring forth what you desire spiritually. Okay? Mm -hmm. You got something, bro? Kind. Uh, let's go with what you were saying. Uh, I'm starting uh, Psalms. You can bring it up. Okay, kind of. Psalms 37. Uh, the point is in verse 7, but I'm starting at verse 5 just to read into it. It says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. All right, which commit goes to basically when you dedicate yourself, all right, to the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right, in a particular a prophecy that the, that the word speaks about, he's going to bring, he's going to bring him to pass, man, you know, because the scriptures say the Lord is not a man that he should lie, mm -hmm. all right, but it says, um, to uh, seek you out of the book of the Lord and read, none of these things shall fail, that's right, all right, so it says, uh, verse six, it says, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. In thy judgments as the noonday. All right. Now here's the point, verse seven. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Right. So we just gotta wait, man. Wait patiently upon your Habashim Shah. Don't worry about you know the the uh, uh, the wicked of this world that prosper. Mm -hmm. You know that that increase. You know carnally, because they, they at the end of the day they they're gonna receive their ultimate uh, judgment, man. That's right. You know because that's the will of the Lord. But we gotta just basically constantly uh, wait. Which that word patience, which we more, more like gonna get into. In fact, I'll pull it up. You know, kind. You know, get into that, that word, the definition of patience. You know, because that's essential, man. It's truth. You know. Hey, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a hard pill to swallow, so to speak. You know, you see, you know, our enemies or our adversaries prospering and like, these motherfuckers yeah. are so wicked, but yeah. they, 
you know, they seem to get the goodies of this world, which, hey, at the same time, we understand that we don't desire the things of this world, man. You know, scriptures say we seek a, a, a heaven, a new heaven and a new earth where we dwell in righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're not we're not putting all our trust in, into this world and society, what society has to offer. You know, we're putting that aside and waiting patiently, all right, for our just reward, man. You know, mm -hmm. you can get that word, uh, patience. Kind of, I have the etymology of the word patience. Mm -hmm. Uh, circus 1200 quality of being willing to bear adversity quality to be <laughs> willing to bear adversity man hardships man that's right it basically means to suffer you know so you're gonna go through things you're gonna uh, lose things you're gonna be tested tried you know you're gonna be hella uncomfortable you know but that's necessary because that what that's doing is it's Persian and it's, it's molding our spirits it's what your high bashing out shot wants us to be, man. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. Calm, endurance of misfortune. Calm, oh, calm. That's why I scripture to say, which I, that's heavy. But as the videos on that, you posted, it's the scripture say to what? Rejoice always, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so even through your, which is easier said than done. Absolutely. It's supposed to be going through some stuff, man. Yeah. But at the same time, hey, that's what makes your mind strong. Being able, being able to find some type of joy and what you're going through, man. You got to be focused on the mission. That's right. That's why I say it's calm endurance of misfortune. Mm -hmm. So when you in times where it's misfortunate, you know, or unfortunate, you know, you have a series of events that continue to pound upon you, you know, the spirit of patience has to kick in and you have to remain calm. All right. Never panic. All right. Because what 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 happens is when whenever you're in a position of being uncomfortable, mm -hmm. Jake looks for a quick escape and escape route. And then that, that escape route is the justification on why they didn't endure through it. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So when you're going through hell, you're catching, you know, certain problems, don't look for a quick escape route, man. That's right. Endure it patiently like it tells you in second, uh, it was it uh, Ecclesiastes, the second chapter. Oh, yeah, yeah, You yeah. know? Oh, yeah. You, you got to endure through it patiently, man. Be of good cheer, you know? And let the, the spirit of patience, you know, uh, uh, you know, be... Uh, uh, provoked within you, mm -hmm. like the scriptures tell you, when in Hebrews the tenth chapter, the twenty fourth verse, it say, "Let us therefore provoke, provoke each other unto good works." Mm -hmm. But what is another form of good works? Is patience. You know, having that spirit of patience. While when you're down and out, you're going through hell, and you're catching all kind of trials and tribulations. You know, you're still enduring that misfortune with a spirit of calmness. Mm -hmm. You're not panicking. You're not looking yeah. for an escape route or instant gratification. That's You're right. just going through the process of growing. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a such thing called growing pains, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you get to a teenage level, usually it's 12 or 13 years old, you know, you hit that what? It's called a growth spurt. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, Where well, yeah. it seems like within a matter of six months, you can grow like five inches. And then people are like, God damn, you're getting big, man. What the mm -hmm. f You know, but then what happens is the, the vessel that's growing at that rate, that exponential rate, they start to feel pain in their knees. That's right. In their feet, in their mm -hmm. back, you know, pain in their in their joints, they their elbows and shoulders. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Because they're growing. Their body is actually growing. And with growth, it comes pain. That's right. Okay? Now you look at a seed, you plant a seed. The seed has what? It has to germinate. Then it has to, to take root. You know, and as it takes roots, it begins to sprout. And once it sprouts, it comes forth. And when it comes forth from under the ground, what happens? All kind of obstacles come towards that, that seed to try to choke out the fruit. So that's the pain of growing. That's right. When these obstacles come, you got weeds, you got birds, you got uh, the, the fowls of heaven, you got the rodents, you know, you got, uh, um, you know, different storms. All of these things are just different components that, they, that the seed has to endure to grow. That's right. So when you endure through all of the things that come your way, you grow. And it's not a process that, that's easily um, acceptable, so to speak. Right, 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 right. You know? Right. You want to say something? Yeah. Right? Yeah, just to add to that, like I was thinking about, um, I think I was watching like uh, some, some bodybuilding workout videos. And one particular guy, um, you know, he's hella buff, you know, muscles are, you know, hella buff. And his trainer kept telling him, to love the pain, love the pain. Like he mm -hmm. kept like amping them up. I like, love the pain, love the pain. You know, why was he telling them that? Because he understood that by going through that pain, if it's deadly, his muscles were going to grow. He was going to get stronger. You know what I'm saying? He's going to develop certain muscle groups, whatever he was exercising. Mm -hmm. You know, so they said, back to what you were saying, 
Same thing in, in, this, in this walk, man. You know, you got to know how to basically love the pain, man, or love the, the, uh, the uh, suffering, man. Find that level of joy in this, in this truth, man. You know? That's right. But uh, I had something for you, too. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to get that, uh, that James after you, bro. Okay. This is um, <laughs> Sirach uh, 2. And, uh, you know, I start from 1. It says, my son, if, th if thou uh, come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And what, brother? And constantly, constantly endure. Constantly, man. Okay? Endurance is, a, is, is a really a thing of consistent, consistency. You know, like if you're running a marathon, now what, what separates you from the rest of the marathon runners is the level of consistency that you have in the race. The endurance, the pace that you that you run, and you consistently run that pace. Now you can start off as a speed demon, but then eventually, if you if you burn out, then what's one thing that people are going to say about you? You didn't you didn't have uh, endurance. That's right. You didn't have a high tolerance of endurance. So that's why I say what it says. What it says and constantly endure. Constantly, meaning being consistent. You know, a pattern showing a consistent pattern throughout your works. That you that you rocking and rolling with this thing. That's right. You got to be in good spirits. You got to continue to uh to contribute to the body, doing your videos, coming up on a level. All right, not being shiftless. All right, or stuck. You know, because if you stuck, you got to make certain sacrifices, man. That's right. That's right. You got to make certain spiritual sacrifices to get the ball rolling, man. And Jake get into a, a point in this truth where they get stuck. And they don't know how to go to the next level because they ain't sacrificing spiritually. They ain't willing to let certain things go. So you got to consistently endure. That's right. You got to have a show up. The scriptures tell you in Titus, the third chapter, it says, let us show forth a pattern of good works. Mm -hmm. So we have to create a pattern. The word pattern means a stamp or something that's etched into something. A pattern is something. Is, is The pattern of your works is what you consistently do on a daily basis or on a weekly basis that separates you from everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, go right. ahead. Uh, yep. It says, uh, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Yeah, make not haste. You know what I mean? It's wait. Yeah, yeah. Don't try to just, you know, do something, you know, that's going to cost you in the long run, but it's going to benefit you at that moment. Right, right. You know? Mm -hmm. And you might have a bad little chick you know, and she wants you to get her pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now, at that moment, it feels good, but in the long run, it's gonna cost you. Yeah, yeah. You know, or you might have an opportunity to get a nice car. Now, you might have the money now to get the car, but in the long run, you're not gonna have that money, and it's gonna mm -hmm. cost you in the long run. So that's why I say make not haste, because hasty decisions are gonna equate unfortunate results. Mm -hmm. Hasty decisions. Equate unfortunate results, and you know, let that sink in. That's right. Okay, go ahead, bro. God, this is uh, verse three. I'm going to just read down to verse four. But the point is, in verse four it says, uh, verse three, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. And that's what it's about. That's the fruit. That's the fruit of it. If you want to get in on the uh, on the lesson too, Kamal, you know, feel free, bro. You know, it, it, uh, uh, read that part again. Yeah, verse, uh, verse uh, three. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Yeah, cleave unto him and depart not away. Go ahead. And that uh, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That's the fruit of patience. Yeah. The increase. Mm -hmm. The last thing to grow from a seed is what? That's right. The fruit. The fruit. Yep. That's right. That's the last thing to grow. So if you want the fruit of patience, which is a delicate and precious fruit, you have to endure through it. That's right. And then once the process is fulfilled and you're able to, to reap the fruit of patience, you're going to see why Yahweh Bashanah was shot took you through all those obstacles and hurdles and so that you can come to the point to where you're at now and you can reap the benefits of your patience. That's right. All of these processes are difficult processes that we go through, but we must embrace it in order to, to reap the fruits of our patience, mm -hmm. of our endurance. That's right. And it's going to show in the long run why the Lord took you through a two year period of being patient, mm -hmm. you know? And that's important for us to understand. You gotta let patience have her perfect work. Do not intervene between the process of patience and you. That's right. 
Don't intervene. That's right. Okay, go ahead, bro. Yep. Verse uh, four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Take cheerfully. Embrace it. Like the elder said, you know, he's watching the video. He said, love the pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Embrace the pain, man. Embrace, embrace the obstacle, man. You know, look at this truth like an like like kind of sort of like an adventure. Yeah. Even though the trial, hey, you know who put who who kind of put me in that mind frame was the brother Gamal. You brothers can't see him, but he in the background. And he made a, a heavy point when we were speaking one night, and he said, uh, he said basically, you know, the, the, his trials and tribulations, how he look at them, he look at it like a movie. He's just excited to see like what's what's going to be the the next thing or the next situation or the next hurdle. That he got to overcome. And I was like, damn, you know, that's a good way to look at it because then you won't have emotions tied to it. Right. You're looking at it like a like an adventure. You're looking at it like a journey, a path. And you already expecting certain things to happen to you. So when they happen, you exercise the spirit of patience and faith to overcome the obstacle. OK, you can't come into this in this in, in this truth with a fixated mind frame that you're not going to go through nothing. Right. Because when you start to go through things and you didn't count the cost, it's going to trip you up. Go ahead, bro. Yep. This is uh, verse four again. So whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Yeah. When thou art changed to a low estate. You know, now everybody has is, is, is been in a position of low, low years, man, at one point or another. You know, but embrace your, embrace your, uh, your, your story, man. Cause at the end of the day, that's your legacy being created through what you're going through. That's your journey. Now we all on separate paths going in the same direction. Right. All right. We all on separate paths. Nobody is walking the same course together because we're not in the same vessel. We have different spirits, but the direction that we walk in is in a forward progression. So everybody that's enduring or going through certain things on their path, they got to be considerate of what's, what's, um, taking place in them, man. That's right. And move in conjunction. All right. Go ahead, right. bro. Uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Verse, verse five. For gold is tried in the fire mm -hmm. and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Yeah, so when you're going through the fire and the adversity, you got to look at yourself as a potential uh, member of the Lord. Be all, uh, you know, you're in the barber chair and you just jumping, you know, yeah. moving, squirming. You know, spray the alcohol on you, crying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though it's, it's yeah. off to get lineups, don't think I'm trying oh, to get yeah, no yeah, lineups. Right, I'm right, just right. talking about in the aspect of just the process of. Right. You gotta sometimes you gotta sit still, bro. Gold is tried in, in the fire, mm -hmm. so you gotta you gotta be like you gotta be thinking like, man, so when I get up out of this chair, I'm gonna be, I'm yeah. gonna be straight. That's right. According to a worldly perspective, yeah, don't, yeah. you know, get it twisted. That's off. <laughs> you know. That's right. But the process of it. Is, is is the hardest part, you know? But when it's finished, you you like, oh shit, man, you know? Go ahead, bro. Uh, matter of fact, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm jump I'm gonna jump down mm -hmm. into another point. Verse fourteen. Uh, woe unto them that have lost patience. Yeah, woe unto them that have lost patience. The individuals that left the faith. Go ahead. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? What will you do? What are you going to say? What's going to be your excuse? It was the brothers. It was GMS. It was Apostle Tahar. No, it was you. Because you didn't count the cost. That's right. You didn't consider the things that you had to hold yourself accountable for. And you rushed the process. All right? That's right. You jumped out the pot when it was hot. You know? That's right. You didn't sit still. You didn't let the Lord scrub you clean. Mm -hmm. You moved. You ran. You look for a window of opportunity to escape the fire, and you dipped. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, verse fifteen. They that fear the Lord will not disobey His word, mm -hmm. and they that love Him will keep His ways. That's right. And keeping the ways of Yahweh Hashem Shai is is a process, man. You can't just say that you believe in this truth. No, the Lord got to take you through a process of belief. Mm -hmm. He has to prove your belief. He has to take you through hurdles, right. trials and tribulations, ups and downs, inconveniences, losses, yep. Yep. gains, 
Mm-hmm. You have to take you through this process in order to prove your belief. And that's a uh, uh, what's that? That's Sirach, the fourth chapter. It speaks about wisdom. It says it will uh, uh, try by um, crooked ways. ways. Uh, uh, Sirach six. Yeah. Sirach six. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So that's what this truth is about, man. You know, truth. It, basically, the most high has to prove. You have to try, you, man. You know, this the um proving grounds. Mm-hmm. You know, for brothers. <laughs> you know, for brothers that watch battle rap. You know, they got the proving grounds. You got to basically prove yourself for you to be considered the top tier rapper, man. You know, hey, most I gotta put us through that through that trial, man. That's right, all right. First and foremost, before he basically uh you know brings you in, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through that, through that that um trial period, man. That's you know? right. This is uh James chapter one, verse three. Yep. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, mm-hmm. but let patience have her perfect work. That's right. Yeah, it says the try what does it say, the trying of our faith working patience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so your hey, so your your faith gonna be put on the line, man. You know, when you go through these different sufferings, is is really your your faith has to kick in. You know, to a point where you know the Lord's gonna be with you, man. He's not gonna forsake you. All right, and through that, that's how your faith is is being built, is being is being stirred up, it's increasing. You know, because you're seeing how the Lord is getting you through these certain situations, and hey, even though we skipped over it, but in Sirach, the second chapter said, "Have any trust in the Lord has been confounded." You know, it said no. All right, mm-hmm. Any, anybody who put their trust and faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all mm-hmm. right, made it through, man. You never forsook nobody, man. Mm-hmm. All right, so you so go ahead. Yep, it says, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Right, that's right. So basically, patience or the sufferings is what's perfecting our spirit, not our flesh. You know, because these bodies are, you know, they they they. These bodies are through, man. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna take these bodies on the chariot and party and let, but it's our spirit and our soul that's being perfected through the sufferings, man. You know, through the hardships, through the adversity, you know, through the through the um um chastening of the Lord, man. Mm-hmm. All right, which is really a sign of love, pursuing the Hebrews 12. All right, the Lord chasten, chasten, chasten of who we love, man, his sons. And that's how the Lord is perfecting us, man. It's a it's a perfect work. If you want right. to be a work of perfection. You know, that's it's perfect. And mm-hmm. hey, you got to, hey, man, you know, it's, it's no way you, you can do that without going through that fire, man. Yeah. It's, you know just, and that's, that's it says a perfect work. Perfect work. That's right. You know, that's heavy. Heavy, yeah. You think about it. That's how we're going to be made per, uh, um, uh, uh, perfect. It's through the patience. Mm-hmm. When you look up the word patience, it means to suffer. That's right. You know, to calmly endure through a time of misfortune, man. Mm. You know? And if you if you if you in that if you got if you like to hit the panic button, man, you you, you through, man. Yeah. You know, stay away from that red panic button. Right. Abort. You know, <laughs> abort, abort mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. man, you gotta stay away from that, man. That's not that's not the spirit of the Lord. That's right. You gotta remember, man, Daniel was cast into a lion's den. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego was cast into a fiery furnace. Yahweh Shah was crucified. Daniel was thrown in the dungeon, you know. All the different obstacles Paul was beating, all the different obstacles that that befell our forefathers, and they still kept that spirit of patience That's right. throughout the process, so that they their works could be made perfect, and they can enjoy the fruits of their patience. You just gotta wait sometimes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't pull a piece out the oven too fast, man. That's right. You can't pull the piece out the oven too fast. Let it cook, man. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. That's right. This is uh, a. Yep, yep. This Psalms 37 and 7, it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Oh, I have read it earlier too. Oh, Psalms 37? Yeah. Was you, it, yeah, I'll read it again. Read it again. It's it spirit. says, uh, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, the, the elder read it earlier, but hey, the spirit jumped on me to get it again. But hey, I, if you I, want, I, you jumped down to uh, 34 too. Kind of. Her, uh, Ver, uh, verse 34? Yep. All right, Con, this is um, uh, one second. Psalms 37 and 34. I right, read. Mm-hmm. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. That's right. Hey, that's the, that's the, uh, was really the inspiration for the lesson came from a quote. Mm-hmm. All right, it said, the, uh, it said, what's a patient, patience is bitter. But his fruit is sweet. 
So like it said, it said there, it said, wait upon the Lord and keep his way that ye may inherit the land. All right. That's basically the, the, the fruits of our labor, man. You know, by us, you know, being up the hopeful elect, uh, laboring and enduring these sufferings. All right. We're going to we're going to reap what we put into this thing. That's why the spirit is on us heavily to exhort on and just make it sacrifices man. go hard. You know, the hell with burning out. Man. Just go hard. Man. We at the finish line. All right, because all our works is going to uh, is going to a uh, basic amount to us receiving or inheriting the land, which is ultimately the kingdom of heaven. Man. That's right. You know, it's, it's bitter. It's bitter now. I mean, like, damn, fuck, man, going through this 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 stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> but eventually that bitterness is going. It's going to be. It's going to be sweet, man. Yes. You know, rulership of the earth, slaves, Yellow women, women, sweet. You know what I'm saying? Children by the millions, land, rulership, spiritual power. You know, go ahead. It says, when the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Hey, that's what, hey, that's a part of that. That's a part of that, that sweetness too, man. See, yeah. Seeing Esau being brought down to, to a damn mere morsel. But man. you got to wait. You got to wait for that, man. You got to remain. You know? If you want to, hey, hey, Jake be, Jake be uh, saying how much they hate Esau. Bro, well, that's more fuel to, to, keep, to stay in the truth. That's right. If you really want to get these devils. If you really want to see America fall, if you really want to put them in chains and shackles, wait. That's right. Because Jake be having that, that macho mm -hmm. man uh, uh, appearance. You know, man, fuck these dollars, man. <laughs> I had, you know, going, going all right. in. But then they don't want, they don't want to do the, the, go through the necessary stages that it take to get this goddamn devil, man. That's right. You know? You think the sincere brothers out here don't don't can't stand this fucking devil, right? But what you see them doing, you see them remaining faithful to Yahweh Bashem Shai because they understand that that's one of the benefits of being patient. That's why I say this is the patience and the faith Favorite, of yeah, the saints. Yeah, right, right. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. Ooh. So one of the things that should be a driving motivation is you being able to put your enemy in the captivity. But Jake be so soon to throw in the towel and throw in the ball. They didn't, they're not considering that everything, everything that you was fighting for is null and void. Because you're not going to be able to attain that because this is the only way to get it. That's right. And you didn't go through the process of getting it. So patience has to have a perfect work, man. That's right. We're able to reap the benefits of our sufferings. Then we'll understand, you know, how great and how gracious and merciful Yahweh Bashem Shai is. You know? That's right. Um, that was it on that, um, on that, uh, the Psalm 37. 37. Okay. You, know, you had something, bro? Yeah, I had something for you. Go ahead. This is uh, James 5 and uh, beginning at verse 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the fret, for the precious fruit of the earth Woo! and have long patience for it mm -hmm. until he received the early and latter rain. That's right. You know, that's the spirit, but I had that too. Yeah, I already knew we had like the same, <laughs> same God, said, that's spirit. You know, yeah. but we have to wait for the precious fruit mm -hmm. of faith, man. Mm -hmm. All right. The, the precious fruit of patience. Mm -hmm. All right. And you brothers better better believe, man, the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, mm -hmm. man. He's not a power that shall lie. If he say we're gonna reap the benefits of being patient and enduring, then that's what he means. He means that, right. but we don't know how that fruit tastes. We right. don't know how it feels to have the world in complete subjection. We don't know how it feels to be in a new body, right. indestructible, everlasting life. We don't know the, the visage and the, 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 the countenance of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We haven't received that crown yet, right. but it sounds good, and we want to receive that. So we have to go through the process of, of patience and faith in order to reap those benefits. And then sometimes you got to suffer through your, uh, the exhortation. Like the Elder Rochester, I did a video on a couple of months ago, Learn to Suffer Exhortation. Yeah, yeah. Well, brother always encouraging you, uplifting you, admonishing you, correcting you, reproving you. You know? Don't get tired of getting corrected, man. Right. You got some jakes, man, they get corrected and they be like, oh, man, damn. I, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, you know. What are you talking about, man? He's supposed to love correction, man. I don't like that, man. You know, damn. Bro, you're supposed to love, man. When you got on, man. Jay, they pride be thinking that they, they, oh, damn, I fucked up, man. Right. Bro, you're going to fuck up. That's right. You know, you're going to fuck up, man. 
you're going to mess up. Somebody's going to get on you in the truth. Yeah. Somebody's going to get on you, man. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to be reprimanded for certain things. Yeah. But you just ate the water. Ate the water, man. You know, that was, that was needed. I appreciate it. You know, they gave me something to analyze. I could repent for a pray. And I'm going to just work at it, bro. With the water, I won't say the water for, you know, putting that out there, bro. And you go forward through the process, man. You know, you ain't, you, you know, we being made perfect. We're not perfect yet. That's right. We're being made perfect. And a part of the the, the, the process of being made perfect is you're going to get God on. Yep. So you got to suffer, you got to suffer a uh, correction and reproof. Now, the spirit of the Lord, you might be one of them brothers that's sincere, but be, be slipping up more than others and you get got on more than others. Well, that's just something you got to endure. Yeah, yeah. You know, that don't mean that the Lord don't love you. When the Lord stop getting on you, the Lord don't love you. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. When you stop getting corrected, when you stop getting cursed out or reprimanded, that means the Lord don't love your ass no more. Man. Not if the Lord, you know, uh, jacking you up because of what you're doing. You got to understand the love of Mashiach. You know? You have more of it? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, verse, uh, um, verse 8. It says, be also patient. Establish your heart for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so yeah, be also patient. Establish your hearts, meaning establish your mind, man. Mm -hmm. you know, your mind has to be rooted in the word, word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. In the face, man, you know, uh, uh, you know, not easily swaying to the right or left, but you basically stubborn and righteousness, man. You know, it says, um, for the coming of the Lord draweth not, you know, yeah, so the time is at hand, man. We don't have a lot more time left, you know, so we got to be, um, we got to be gridlocking this thing, man. That's right, you know, not not easily or shaken, right? It says, uh, matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna jump down to verse, uh, verse 10. It says, take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. All right? Yeah, so we read the, the accounts of the different prophets. You know, you read their, their, um, 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 you so say their, uh, memoirs. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, you know, their life stories, so to speak. Man, the prophets had a hard life, man. Yeah. All right, and we gotta be the prophets coming back because brothers, like I said earlier, brothers be going through some hell of five situations in in uh, uh, in uh, different scenarios. All right, but we got the, the 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 chronicles, so to speak. All right, and read upon them as an example, man. What's that? Romans fifteen and four. The things written before time were written for our learning. All right, it says uh, verse eleven. Uh, it says, "Behold, we count them happy, which endure." All right, yeah, going to um, we brought out what's that, Sirach 2. All right, whatever's brought upon you, take cheerfully, yeah, because we know that the things that we're enduring is going to lead ultimately to a reward, man. We ain't just doing this just because we're bored, we ain't got nothing to do, we just going to do this for, for nothing. Nah, man, it's a it's a it's, a, it's you know, the grass is green on the, on the other side, so to speak. That's right. This is behold, we count them happy which endure. This is ye have heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord. That the Lord is very pitiful and tender of mercy, you know. Yeah, so hey, so you have about Shimon is very merciful, man. You know, yeah, we like you know Bishop was going into we slip up, we make certain mistakes, you know. Righteous man falls seven times, you know. We get up up again. The Lord's merciful, man. He's pitiful, you know. So we gotta uh, don't forget that and continue to move forward, man. That's right. And Job is the, is the ultimate example. He was totally righteous. All right, most I brought him down to, to you know, to, yeah. to the first level, so to speak. Yeah. You know, but he said, well, I would, you know, uh, Job said, though he slain me, yet will I put my trust in him. That's right. And I'll maintain my, my ways, man. So Job was righteous to the end. Yeah. You know, so that's the ultimate example that we have, man. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But, uh, yep, that was the point on that. Come on, come on. Yeah, some, yeah, I got something for you, bro. This is uh, Luke 8 and 15. It says, but that. On the good ground are they, which is an honest and good heart, having heard the word and keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Ooh, yeah, you got it. You know, so the, the 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 good. This is going into the parable of the sower, and the Lord spoke about those that fell on the good ground that had a pure uh, conscience, a pure mind, and they brought forth fruit with patience, man. Mm. Okay, that's the only way that fruit can come forward. 
You can't you hey, you can't even you can't rush a fruit. Right. Show me how to show me a, a cheat code where you could rush fruit. Genetically modify it. Yeah, yeah. That Check ain't more. fruit. It ain't real fruit. It's fake fruit. We talking about real fruit that's grown through the process that the Lord created for the earth. There's no way to rush it. You could put a thousand and one tons of water on it. Right. That fruit is still gonna grow according to the spirit of the Lord. So that's how the good seed is gonna bring forth that fruit. It's through patience, man. You know, enduring your trials and tribulations. You know, another thing that you gotta endure through, you gotta endure through the fellowship, man. Mm -hmm. Jacob link up when they first get in the camp. They come around, they, they'll drive two, three, two, three hours to get around. But then after a while, they're like, man, fuck that. Man, I ain't getting nothing out of it. No, no, no fuck that. I'm, st I'm staying away. I'm not going 45 minutes over there tonight, an hour. Right. Take them sleepy. But then when they first came into the camp, they was there every weekend. Mm -hmm. But because they don't see the fruit of it, they don't see the spirit of it because they was their heart not pure and sincere. They slowly began to separate themselves from the body. That's right. As if the how about some hours shy don't see it. The most I got all our tabs, man. And it is is all kind of scenarios that he can use to bring forth your tab. Mm -hmm. If he's displeased in your way. So at the end of the day, you got to check yourself, man. You know, you got to see if you've been moving in that spirit of patience or if you've been hastily trying to avoid your process. Put in cheat spiritual cheat codes, man. Trying to get around what you got to deal with, man. You know, that's right. Doing things that's unseemly. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of just sitting there and enduring and going through the process and sending up prayers for the Lord to give you the spirit of patience to endure through what you got going on, Jake try to cut corners and go around. You can't go around what the Lord got set up for you, man. You got to go through it. Yeah. It's tailor made. And that's how the, 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 the seed that's set on that good ground is going to bring forth good fruit. It's through the spirit of patience, man. You know? So this is a very reflective and e exhorting uh, lesson for all of us to take heed, man. As yeah. we see the spirit is crunching down, it's tightening up on brothers. Brothers being getting reprimanded and, and, and things of that nature. So what, what does that mean for you as an individual? What does that mean for me as an individual? Yeah. I have to sit back and reflect, man, could I get caught in this thing, man? You know, could I get caught up lacking? Where am I lacking at? Where am I going off? What can I step up at? And you gotta take, you gotta be proactive and you gotta step up on that for your own, man. You can't wait for the next brother to always try to get your gears rolling, man. Right. He gotta get his own gears rolling at the same time. So you gotta step up and you gotta do what you gotta do in order to persevere, man. That's right. You know, if you wanna sit in your little rabbit hole and, 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 and soak in your sorrow, and marinate in your misery, you know, then what's gonna happen to you is you're gonna end up losing the spirit. This thing is about being being uh work-based, react, you know, uh, uh you know, proactive. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, finding fault within yourself and correcting that fault so you can become more uh, uh perfect to your was shot through the spirit of patience. Okay, that's right. Don't take the easy way out. That's right. If I can add two. That's that's when the uh, okay, come. Hey, and that's 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 when the fear, the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua kicks in, man. You know when certain uh, uh um, you know certain things get put out in the spirit. You know, like it's like the Bishop of Tazman is going into. You know, spirit is cracking down, toning down on certain things. You know, brothers getting you know getting the scope put on them. All right, when you see that type of spirit being pushed out, it's supposed to invoke a level of fear in you. That'll make you want to kind of shape it up, man. Because we are, as we talking prior to the filming, you um, need that sometime, man. You know, it'd be a period of time when things be kind of cool, you know, and Jake can kind of get kind of laid back and too lax. You know, the spirit every every so often got to kind of, hey, man, all right, y'all, hey, y'all hey, pay attention, man. You know, don't get too, don't get too relaxed. You don't get too comfortable because you can, hey, because everybody's car can get pulled, man. Me, this brother, that brother. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is safe, man. You know, if we were safe, then we all be on a chariot already. You know, we wouldn't be down here, you know, fighting this battle. We already be translated, man. You know, so everybody's car can get pulled, man. So when these particular things get put out, as I mentioned, it should invoke a level of fear for you to just snap right into it, man. Fear is what uh, uh, brings about righteousness, man. You fear the Lord so much, they, I ain't, damn, 
we shot through my videos, we shot yeah. take this on point, we shot sit up straight, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We should clean up, you know, you going, hey, if I got a father, yeah, father tell you, hey, 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 look, boy, if I get home, then make sure this is done. This, you know, if you, now if you got a strict father, you're gonna be try your damnest, all right, to get everything on point, man, before you get back home. That's how you gotta look at the most high, man. Yep. When that spirit cracked down, right, straighten up, stuff, straighten up, my bed is made. Yep. You know, my laptop, you know what I'm saying? Straighten up, man. You gotta straighten up, man. You know, mm -hmm. that's right. You, you, uh, uh you had more than what you was reading? Uh, well, I had something else. No, no, James. Okay, kind of, kind of. This is, uh, Galatians 6 and, uh, 9. It's hitting on that point of, 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 you know, us keep doing, basically keep doing the work so you have shimmy out shy and basically waiting, being patient, and eventually then we're gonna reap the benefits, man. This is um, Galatians 6 and um, 9. Oh, man, in fact, I started at 8. Uh, yeah, I started at 8. It says, uh, for he that soweth to the flesh uh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. That's right. You know, that's, that's what people like to speak about the laws of what? Karma. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. Well, you have that in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, you mm -hmm. reap what you sow. So if you sow, if you sow to the flesh, if all you do is you take this truth and you focus on being able to have more than one woman, mm -hmm. being able to cuss Edomites out, being able to cuss black women out, um, so, uh, oh, excessively drinking, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being a nigga, being bitter, being angry, you know, if you take that out of the scriptures and you just extrapolate all of that out of the scriptures and you fit that into your life, then you're going to reap what you're sowing. Because all you're going to do is chase women. All you're going to do is drink. All you're going to do is be angry and bitter. All you're going to do is just try to find a reason why you can have two, three women. But when it comes down to the spiritual things of fellowship, building, sacrificing, you're going to always have a problem with doing it because you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. That's right. You only want to do the things that feel good to your flesh. You don't want to do the things that's, that's good for your spirit. So if you reap sparingly, or if you sow sparingly, you reap, reap sparingly. If you sow to the flesh, you reap to the flesh. That's right. So your trials and your tribulations is a, is a reflection of what you've sown. Mm -hmm. What you go through is a reflection of what you've sown during your path. That's right. Okay? Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, I'll read you back from the title. It says, for he that sowed to the flesh shall reap of the flesh, flesh corruption. Right. So if, you, if you're more so worried about cussing out Edomites, but you don't worry too much about uplifting Jake or exercising the spirit of brotherly love, then you reap what you sow. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. It says, but he that soweth to the spirit shall reap or shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And that's ultimately the, the goal that we're trying to attain spiritual life, life everlasting. So we must sow to the spirit. Now, what are the things that we must sow in the spirit? We That's why we have the fruits of it. Mm -hmm. It tells you what to sow. Long suffering, patience, joy, faith. These are the, the fruits of the spirit that yeah, you must yeah, sow yeah, right. in order to reap everlasting life. But if you've been sowing things according to the flesh, you're gonna reap things of corruption. Okay, that's right. You're gonna reap the things of the flesh. Yep. And then when it comes back to to you know when you have to eat of that fruit that you've sown, Jake is bitter because they've sown bitter fruit. They've sown bitter seed. They haven't sown sweet, precious seed of faith, of suffering, of a uh, uh, you know all the things that the scriptures tell us to sow spiritually. You neglect those things and you sow the bitterness of the ministry. And then when you have to eat of that fruit. You're mad. You're bitter. That's right. But you sold. You sold it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You sold the seed. Didn't nobody else come and sow the seed? You decided to extrapolate out the scriptures what felt good to you and not what you needed to, to sow. And then you have to eat of what you've sown because of your lack of dedication. You didn't want to go through the process of sacrificing spiritually. You wanted to take the easy route on sacrificing the carnal things. And now when you reap that sacrifice, you you displeased behind it. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, yeah, bro. Go ahead, up. Yep. Uh, verse 9, this is the, the point. 
It says, and let us not be weary in well-doing. Yeah, let us not be weary in well-doing, Aki. Okay? Mm. We can't be weary in well-doing, man. We have to be consistent. We have to show a consistent pattern. Go ahead. That's right. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. That's right. In due season, we shall reap if we faint not. So we have to remain upright because when you faint, that means you've gotten weak. Yeah. That means you've lost hope. You've given up. Okay? But if you remain upright through the times when it feel like you're going to faint, then what you're going to do, you're going to reap the benefits of what you've sown. That's right. Okay? So it's symbolic. You know, hey, it's going to be times when you're going to feel like you're about, hey, I was going through a situation a couple of weeks ago where it just felt like every day I was about to faint for about seven to eight days straight. You know, the brother, remember, I was yeah. I was through, man. Was, you know, I was just, you know, my, you know, my hands sweating, I'm feeling lightheaded, and I'm feeling like I'm really about to give up the spirit. Hey, but the Lord, through the grace of Yahweh Bashim, I was shy. The Lord had me to endure and, and go out to camp and fellowship with the brothers and be able to speak, you know. So when you're in this, these trying times where it feels like you're about to give up, don't give up, man. Right. Don't give in to the flesh, man. Don't let the flesh tell you what, what, you, what you can and can't do. Let the spirit tell you, man. Because your flesh going to tell you a million and one reasons why you can't do certain things. That's right. But your spirit is going to give you a million and two reasons why you can do it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hey, just like using the analogy with the uh, with the uh, bodybuilder, like you working out. You see, you know, these personal trainers, they always yell, like, one more, one more. But you, you know, brothers that train or whatever, you might have got to that point. You know, like your flesh telling you you can't do that last rep. Yeah, but somehow, some way, you just find a way to just, just get it up, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta you gotta apply that mind frame to, to the truth. That's man. right. You know, you feel yourself at that hey, that low level, you know, hey, that in that in that that, that low dungeon yeah, space. Yeah, low dungeon, yep. You know, hey man, you got this hey, man, just dig, dig, dig in the core, man. You know, and, and pray. You know, pray for your house by Shimon Shah to give you the strength to, to bust through that thing, man. That's your strength. That's your strength. 124. That's right. You know, you yeah, have more on that. I, I, uh, I, I think that was in on Galatians. I got yeah, something yeah. real quick. Okay. This is uh, Luke, uh, quick to the point, Luke 21 and 19. Mm -hmm. It says, in your patience, Ooh. possess ye your souls. That's right. Hey, yeah, in, in, your, in your patience, meaning within your sufferings, possess ye your souls, man. All right? So, hey, our souls really, hey, in this in this, in this this world, man, we, hey, man, hey, scripture say, um, what's he, uh, uh, he that loves his life shall lose it. Mm -hmm. But he had hate of his life shall gain it in life eternal, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So through our sufferings, man, and we're gonna possess, we're gonna possess our lives, our souls, man, in this world, in this world to come. All right, but it comes through what? Through the through the sufferings, man. All right, through the adversity, through the hardships, through the enduring, you know, which the word endure means to be made made hard, man. All right, how about Shimao Shah is is, is he's, he's hardening us, man. That's right. You know, he's basically making us making us numb, so to speak. To the spirit of this world, so when all hell break loose, all right, when, sh when shit hits the fan, so to speak, mm -hmm. it ain't gonna rattle with the elect, man. That's right. You know, they're gonna be unmovable, they're gonna be stable, you know, and they're gonna be the spirit of mirth. Scripture say they're gonna laugh, laugh at destruction. Yep. You know, so hey, our soul is gonna be possessed. These people in this world, they're gonna they're gonna lose their soul, man. Yeah. All right. And yeah, it's coming, coming uh, 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 uh perils, man. Yeah, they're not gonna have any power over. That's right, you know. It's going, you're going to have some people out here that, that know about the chip and don't want to take the chip, but because they don't have patience, they're going to take the chip. They don't take, that's right. They know that the chip is the mark of the beast, and they know that they shouldn't take it, but because they're not patient and they're not rooted and built up in the Lord, they're going to take that chip. Mm. You know, so that's why it says in your patience, possession your souls, because these people that's going to take that chip, they don't have any power over their spirit or their yeah. soul, but the elect is going to have that power to say, I'm not going to take it. Mm -hmm. That mean they possessing their soul. That's right. It's my spirit. I'm not letting no fucking devil put no fucking chip in me, man. This is my spirit that the Lord gave me. I'm going to possess my own soul. I'm going right. to understand that shit. That's right. Because I know it's wrong. And so that's through your patience, possess your soul, man. That's you know? That's right. There's all kind of scenarios, man. Yeah. You know, you can have a motherfucker that'll come in and, and try to get you to sell brothers out. Mm. I give you $2 million, man. If you just give me name and information, if you just yeah, put this tracking yeah, yeah, device yeah, on the yeah, yeah. car, yeah, you know, or testify against, them. and because of your lack of patience, you will do it, mm -hmm. knowing that it's wrong. 
But if you have patience, you know, then guess what's going to happen? When that opportunity of, of Satan, when that Satan present that opportunity, you're going to turn it down because you know in your spirit that it ain't right. You don't have no power over my spirit to bribe me, nigga. That's right. So in your patience, yeah. you possess your soul, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of, hey, 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 we're going to be tried when this thing really kick off, man. That's right. You know, this is the time now to build up. But when this thing kick off, the, 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 the sheep is going to be divided from the goats, man. Yeah. And we got to pray and ask you how about Shemai was shy, that if it be according to his will, that we be a part of the righteous side, man. Okay? That's right. Because when you don't, have, when Satan has control over your soul and spirit, when you give your soul over to Satan, that's a wrap. It's over for you, man. That's right. So through patience, you build up a level of resistance, man. <laughs> you know? That's right. Go yeah, ahead, bro. And this, this is all, like, he's going into this is all, um, um, or the trial period, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And in that time, if you've been, you know, enduring sufferance, you know, if you haven't given up, you haven't passed out or fainted, like you've been in Galatians, you know, and your, your, your patience or your, your, your patience leader is going to be in a thousand that day, man, to where what? You'll be able to withstand that. Like you said, you'll be able to possess your soul and not give it over to Satan, man. Yep. But if, you, if you've given up, you know, like guys that we, that we know or people in this world, you ain't gonna have enough uh, patience to be able to to to, to uh, uh, basically say no, man. He's going to fall and, and bat down, bat down to say it. That's right, bro. You know. Uh, I had, I had another one. Come go ahead. This is uh, matter of fact, I'll get this one. This is uh, first first Corinthians fifteen and fifty eight. It says, "Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable." Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Unmovable, steadfast, always abounding. Me and you're always growing. Mm -hmm. It could be a storm out. It could be a storm outside, and you just a regular plant. It's a storm outside. So you, but you're still unmovable. That's right. And that you're gonna take that rain, and you're gonna take that that water, and you're gonna grow from that water instead of letting that water drown you. You're gonna grow from that. That's what it means by being steadfast and unmovable. Nothing is able to knock you off your pivot. Nothing is able to, to convince you that what you're doing is wrong or that the brothers around you are wrong or that, that <clears throat> there is a, you know, there is another way. Mm -hmm. It goes deeper than the Bible. That's right. You know, you got to be steadfast, man. You got to be rooted, unmovable. Go ahead, bro. That's right. It says, uh, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. It's not in what? It's not in vain Woo! in the Lord. And what? Why, why is our labor not in vain? Because there will be fruit that comes behind. That's right. That's right. That's what makes these situations not vain. Because the fruit comes. The fruit is always the, I told you so. Mm -hmm. You know, the fruit of it is always, is always the, I told you so. That's right. Yeah. That's the fruit of every situation. When you can say, I told you. That's the fruit of it. That's why the labor is not in vain, because there is an actual increase of fruit that we'll be able to reap at the end of it. That's how, why the work of the Lord is not in vain. The hope of the Lord is not vain. The faith of Yahweh Bashan is not vain. The patience in the Lord is not vain. Because at the end of at the end all be all, there's fruit that has to be that has to be reaped. That's right. Okay? That's right. And you're not going to be able to, you're not going to plant all of these good seeds. And then at the end, the Lord is going to just take you out and not let you. No, you're going to, you're going to reap it. You're going to reap exactly what you've sown. That's the, that's spirit. That's what it is. You know, what goes around comes around. Man. That's right. That's right. You're going to reap it, man. Yep. Okay. Now let's say you've sown according to the flesh before you have a shot. Well, those things that you've sown according to the flesh, you're made a new creature when you come into your house shot, so you don't have to reap that. All right? Because you unknowingly sold according to corruption. But when you come into your house shot, you become a new creature. So then you begin to sow good seeds within people, within the, within the ministry, within yourself. So therefore, in the latter end, you'll be able to reap the good seeds that, you, that you've sown. And the Lord won't look at the old seeds of corruption that you've planted. They will be have died out by them. That's right. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Uh, 
I think that was it on the Con, that was the, you had any more precepts or that was uh, pretty much it? Yeah, I'll give this last one. I kind of, yeah, we'll wrap up. On this okay, one. this is uh, Revelation is 22 and 12. It says, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. Yeah, the Lord said he come quickly and his reward is with him. Go ahead. To give every man according as his work shall be. To give every man according to his work shall be. So we have to remember that this is an individual effort, man. That's right. All right. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is requiring each and every last one of us as servants to hold ourselves to a particular standard. So if you cutting corners with the Lord, if you giving a, a poor, piss poor effort, you know, if you coming up short in the daily ministration, then Yahweh Bashim Shai is watching you, man. And he's going to give you according to what you do. You know, Jake, Jake wonder why, you know, you know, men get cast out the body was because you 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 sowing you're sowing sparingly, man. Right. You partially doing this thing. You gotta go through the spirit, through the spirit of patience. You gotta endure so that you can bring forth fruit for your how about Shema was shot. Whether it's on your videos at camp or whether you you edify a brother and, and, and through the edification. You're able to convince him who the Lord and Savior is and bring him into the body, bring him into the faith. Because you got brothers out here that's that's responsible for bringing in brothers into the camps. Do their just personal, just sowing of the spirit. You know, so you got to consider your way. You got to consider your path and what you've been doing along your path. And if they haven't been right, you got to correct it, man. And endure through the spirit of patience. Let patience have her perfect work. Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Lord willing, it was edifying. We're going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakapadash. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and safety to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.